Alrighty, hello and welcome back uh, to this live record of New Game Plus TV. It's great to have you all here. Thank you for the people who are following. Thank you for the people who are subscribing. That makes it uh, makes it all the more better and uh, helps us uh, do this more often. Maybe I can afford a bit of a better light, but it just doesn't give that gloomy atmosphere if I don't. You know, look, I've got my radioactive sign. I'm ready. People know not to to address me because I'm a toxic gamer. But what I'm not toxic about is thank you, Steffi, for the uh, the thing the uh, sub there. Uh, I have with me at the moment, though, is uh, Mr. Chad Toprak, who is one of my favorite people in the local games industry. Here he is. Um, Chad is the director of Free Play. Is that still the case? Or have you? I know you're, you're looking at packing it in. Has you, have you done so yet? I'm still the director. Okay. So I, I haven't I haven't screwed it up completely quite yet. No. <laughs> um, uh, recently at the uh, AG, um, AGDAs uh, was presented with the Raising the Bar uh, Award, which I believe is a very valid award for yourself, Chad. Um, y you've always been one of my... Uh, again, I, I don't fawn very much over people, but you're very one of the few people in the local industry who I feel has always been a positive presence. And uh, so I guess I wanted to pick your brain from the point of view of like, how does it feel? But you've all, for me, you've always been a very reserved man. How did it feel accepting an award like that um, from, you know, I guess a, a large group of your peers? Yeah. Oh, look, it's a, it's a huge honor to have received that award. Um, and for my, labor to be recognized because i feel like at the end of the day um f you know from from the outside the director of free play free play role uh might seem quite prestigious but um in in the shoes of the director is actually um a lot of work and a lot uh, and you know um most of it the the audience or the participants never really get to see so in that regard it was it was really nice for that that amount of work and that yeah. labor to be recognized but at the same time i also feel like there's just there's so many people out there who is doing um just as much work that you know um are worthwhile recognizing and acknowledging as well and so on one hand i'm, I'm really happy but on the other hand i feel like we still have a lot of um work to do um in recognizing those people I, I do agree, and you, you bring up an interesting point. My line about when it comes to public events has always been, if the punters don't know something went wrong, it didn't go wrong. You know, like, the, the, you, they'll never understand what you had to go through to make it happen the way that it happened, but it doesn't matter. As long as everybody had fun at the event, um, that's the, the main goal, you know, and I feel like that's always something that I felt, you know, if, it, it was Paul Callanan before yourself, but it was the same even then. Like, I feel like the love and the dedication and the energy was there. And that's something that I've always really enjoyed about either covering free play myself or having Jack or whomever uh, come down to the event and check it out. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's, there's just so many people um, who have poured their, their hearts and souls into, into free play, you know, Paul included, but also um, past directors like um, Lee Shang Lun, Katie Williams, yeah. Dan Golding. How could I forget Lee? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some, some really amazing people who've done some fantastic work. Um, and it's, you know, it's been great seeing so many new emerging voices and, and artists and game developers come to the community through free play. Um, and that's that's also been one of my goals is to try and make sure that free play is and and stays uh, a welcoming space for new and emerging artists. Um, it's a it's a really important point. I think. So, we, and it is—it is a point that you know, we've done uh, Tech Games Fest and things with Chisholm and, and with Monash and stuff. So we have a lot of people come through, and yours has always been one of those events that I've recommended. Not only from the point of view of, like you say, being that welcoming space, but also you guys do like to push. It, it's not just about come down, grab a control muddle through somebody's you know even if it's a prototype it's whatever it's how can we include physicality how can we include accessibility how can we include all these different elements of not even video games but just games and the way that, that people interact with them and that's always been i feel like one of the strengths of your work with free play and again lee was another big proponent of that as well yeah absolutely i i think one of the really important things about free play is that it promotes um uh, many pluralities of the, the the independent games community and and its culture and you know it's not like you said it's not just about playing video games it's like it's 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 about pushing at those boundaries and, and exploring what else the the medium has to offer 
um, and, and really encouraging um, experimentation and, and, um, and, yeah, bringing in bold new ideas and, and innovation and things like that, yeah. So you did mention you are stepping down as the director of free play, which is a, a very big loss for free play. Uh, what, 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 like, was it, was there something that, that uh, I guess spurred you to do it or is it just, you know, it's, it's time and you want to move on and do something else or. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, I think, um, and I, and I kind of said this in my acceptance speech for the raising the bar award at, at the actors, but, um, um, it's been five years and I'm now the longest standing director of free play. Um, even, even Paul was there for like four years, which, yep. you know, at the time felt like ages. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like, you know, I, I feel like free play is an organization that, that highly depends on the, the energy and drive of the director. For sure. Um, and, and I feel like, you know, with each passing year that I host a, a free play festival, um, uh, the following year, I find myself with less and less energy. Um, yeah. and so I think it's, it, it's both, you know, time for me mm-hmm. to, to rest and, and get some, um, some time to, to re-energize and recuperate before I, you know, get to the next big thing that I work on. But also I feel like free play, um, now, now that I've given as much as I can give, it's time for some someone new a fresh new team to carry free play to where it needs to go next to offer offer them the platform i guess would be yeah yeah absolutely absolutely because free play as an, as an organization really it needs to stay um uh not not only energetic but also um very like fresh and, and reactive to what's what's going on in the industry um and the last thing i would want is for it to kind of stagnate um due to you know having the same director uh uh, who you know approaches the the festival with with same or similar methods and so yeah yeah just some some you know fresh new ways of doing things and and i i think through that it would bring um some excitement and and um uh, much needed energy as well i think well, what's yes in the in the chat has said that they will miss you, and I I do agree. Um, good luck with whatever it is you've got going forward. People can find you at Mr. Chad on Twitter, I believe is the is that correct? Have I said it wrong? That's right. Yep. Uh, and uh, I guess that's one way for people to keep up with everything. Dude, Chad, again, it's always a pleasure. Hopefully, we'll have you back on the show uh, very very soon to discuss life in the universe. Maybe we don't even talk about video games. Who knows? Um, but it's <laughs> uh, it's always a pleasure to have you. And again, congratulations on your raising the bar award. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you.